coming to you from the Orange Room in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. This is It's Only Food with your host, Chef John Polite. All right, hey, welcome back to It's Only Food. Today we are going to do an unboxing. We are not in the kitchen. I have a package here from a friend of mine from California, Alex K from Walnut Creek, California. She sent me a box to open up and taste everything. She, I, I, I think it's to taste everything, I don't know. I'm, we have to check it out and open it up. I haven't opened this up or even looked at it yet. It's pretty heavy, it sounds like it's got some goodies in there. So we're going to try all those out and uh, give them a little taste test. Anyway, I will put the information for Alex up on either here or over here, possibly over here, or maybe down here. I'm not sure yet, but we'll have it up for you to where you can find her channel and go check her out. She is funny and very informative, and she is what I like to call the next generation of cooks, and I am happier than hell to pass the baton off to her. So. Here's a little bit about what she says about herself and her channel. My channel is pretty low key. <clears throat> Excuse me. I try to update every week and my key audience is trying to help people not burn water. Good. I go through recipes that look like hard work and pare them down to what is needed rather than what is suggested. And I like to take out unnecessarily and possibly prohibitively expensive gadgets. I think that cooking well is a trait attainable by anyone, and a decent and exciting to eat meal can be made with simple ingredients. Also, I have no formal training besides hanging out in the kitchen with a Seuss who is my friend and the like. Thanks again, Chef. Hey, happy to do it for you, Alex. Her, t her uh, show is called Kitchen Survival. Sorry, I didn't mention that in the beginning. Kitchen Survival, and I'll put a link here or here or here, here, maybe across this broad plateau of space here too. But anyway, let's get into the unboxing here. It says hello from California. So, okay. I'm excited. I've never gotten a box from California before. Well, I can't honestly say that. So, all right. Box is open. Here we go with the chain. All right. On top is a Benito's Baked Crunch, White Bean Crunch, Mac and Cheese. Now I'm gonna get these all out, set them off to the side, and then we'll go one by one and taste them all, because there's quite a bit of stuff in here. So, let me get my knife out of the way and her, remember, Kitchen Survival. Kitchen Survival, go check it out. Curiously Crunch Popcorn, Half Pops, Angry Little Corn. So, there's that one. All the cats. Oh. All right. Temple turmeric pure prana turmeric shots. Not sure what that is. I'm gonna try it out though. It is liquid. It is a sealed bottle. So it's not vodka. Oh, oh. U.S. organic and non-GMO. Okay, I think the theme here is that it's gonna be uh, organic and healthy food from California. So. Oh, bee free honey made with apples. So there's some honey. And get some crackers in here, we'll have it made. Oh, something here that gluten free, 15 grams of protein, chicken sesame barbecued season bar. Not sure exactly what that is, but we are going to find out, that's for sure. It's got five grams of carbs. Ooh, cheat chai chi. Never really figured out how to call that, but I call it chi. So chai, chai chi chi. Organic coconut milk drink with chai spice blend. I'm not going to open this up because I'm going to put it up with my teas because I enjoy a good chai tea. And here's another choco bar, peanut butter and chocolate, made with cricket protein powder. Cricket. Protein powder. I hope that's not made from crickets. So, but well, it's kind of soft, kind of chewy maybe. So, we'll try that out. Oh, 
natural energy drink. Guru. Guru. Natural energy drink. See for yourself. Ingredients. Sparkling water, organic cane syrup, citric acid, natural flavors, guarana seed extract. Okay, well it's 8 o'clock, uh, 8 o'clock my time. I go to bed at 9, so <laughs> this won't be drank today. Sorry. Maybe in the morning. Oh, here's a note. I didn't even see the note. I'm sorry. Uh, let me start over. Chef John, in this box I have picked some more interesting items from a local, gro local grocery store, like Cricket Power Bars and Honey. That is not from an actual bee. Okay, yeah, the, the apple, yeah. I hope you find these items enjoyable and fun. I was going to send Kumbachi, which has become incredibly popular, but that's a little boring now. Thanks for the wonderful, or have a wonderful day, Alex. Well, yeah, it might be popular out there, but I live in Minnesota, and it hasn't gotten out here yet. No, I'm kidding, Alex. I'm kidding. I know what you're talking about. Alex or Kumbachi. Yep, good stuff. So, nice. Thanks for the note. Sorry, I didn't get it until we were halfway through. Ooh, here we go. Miracle Noodle. Spinach shirataki pasta. Shirataki pasta? Am I saying that right? Uh, Guilt-free noodles. Soy-free, gluten-free, made in the USA. This is a big bag of liquids, so I'm not going to open this and try it. But uh, it's noodles in there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, those are noodles in there. They're like ramen, it looks like, ramen noodles. So that's what that is. Not going to get the, yeah, it looks just like ramen noodles, which I love. So here's another uh, bar here, a wild boar with uncured bacon. Gluten-free, 9 grams of protein. The epic wild boar bar. Sweet mint dipped corn cakes. Oh, they got a little beat up, I think, on the trip here. They look like corn cakes, little hockey puck shape. Yeah, or a jar lid or something about that size. Looks like the top one here got busted up on the trip, though. But uh, sweet mint dipped corn cakes. Always non-GMO, naturally gluten-free. So, oh, I almost smell the mint. Package isn't open, but it almost smells like it. I got something in a bag here. Bevmo Bevmo. This is the exclamation point. Oops, double wrap. Oh, oh, right on. Bragg organic apple vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I almost bought some of this today at the store, but I didn't. Ginger spice. So, this is good stuff. It's good for your blood sugar levels and your cholesterol and getting your. Uh, yeah, for a lot of things. Weight loss, digestion, even cures the common cold, I've heard. Cool. Alright, I'm going to pick some of the stuff I can't really eat right now because I'm downstairs in my office and I don't have any silverware, plates, or, you know, stuff like that. But I am definitely going to try the wild boar. Wild boar. Oh, it's definitely got a meat smell. I don't know if it even has meat in it, though. I'm tasting cranberries or something. Texas wild boar, uncured pork bacon, no nitrates or nitrates added. Pork water, brown sugar, salt, vinegar, celery powder, sea salt, dried cranberries, I was right, yay. Uh, lactic acid, celery powder, and sea salt again for the, the cure that goes on it too. This isn't too bad. Cranberries give it a nice crunch. Goes well with that boar too. And you can see the cranberries in there. Can't get it in focus, sorry. I'm going to put it up here because I have two wild cats right over there and I don't want them getting into it. Uh, here's the noodles. I will save these for later. Actually, Alex, I'm going to promise you right now, I'm going to get some of the stuff that I can't eat right now and I'm going to do a show. I'm going to make something. might be some wild boar pasta with uh, chai tea demi-glaze. 
I don't know. I'll put something together and I'll do another show giving you some more, some more love. Here is a Choco Bar, peanut butter and chocolate. I'm thinking to rinse the palate. Ooh, maybe some of that mango vinegar. Oh. Hmm, Choco Bar. Looks like a chocolate bar. Got a no snap to it. Just kind of bends and breaks. Smells like chocolate. Not really smelling peanut butter on here, though. Yeah. Really no flavor at all. I'm catching a hint of chocolate. A little bit. But uh, sadly, no flavor. No chocolate. No... No... Uh, it's got nice consistency and everything, but it just doesn't have a have any flavor. Sorry. The chai tea mix with the uh, organic coconut milk. Mmm. Coconut, noodles. We're getting a theme here, huh? Okay. Sweet mint dipped corn cakes. Might need the Later, there we go. I'm just going to taste a little bit of these because I'm not a big fan of mint. Oh, like, mmm, that's not bad. What does that taste like? Reminds me of going to the movies. There comes the mint. Now, the first bite, almost like a popcorn, almost. Yeah, too, too much mint for me. I'm sorry, I don't like mint that much. But the initial flavor is really good. But I think my wife might like these. Hmm. Now, a little too minty for me, sorry. Curiously crunchy popcorn. Oh. Oh. Almost look like corn nuts almost. A little tiny corn nut there. To get a hand. Yeah, I can't really see those up too well. Focus, focus. Yeah. Oh wow. Those are really, really good. Half pops. They're like half pop popcorn. Angry little kernels. Angry kettle corn. Yeah, these are good. So, these are mine. Stay away. Let's keep these down in the office. Oh, here's a chicken one now. Gluten-free chicken and sesame barbecue seasoned little bar now. Kind of same as a wild boar, but this is going to be chicken. So, Yeah, it feels like chicken. Kind of smells like chicken. I'm getting a sesame in here. Mm hmm Yeah. It's good. It's like a chicken. Chicken, uh... Oh. Very good. Very good. Mm hmm These are snack office. Or office snacks, definitely. Apple honey. We'll make something with that. We'll put that up with the noodles and the coconut milk. We'll try to figure out something with that. The uh, pure piranha. It's U.S. organic, verified organic. Everything that's good about it. I am going to find out just exactly what the hell it is before I talk about it so I don't sound like a moron any normally more than I am. But um, super tonics. I'm going to find out what this is. So it's a mystery. This is our mystery thing here. So, uh, of course, the lovely... Apple cider vinegar. I love this stuff. This is uh, by Bragg, so it's got to have the mother down there. Not seeing any mother, but this is a ginger spice one too. But um, Bragg is famous for the mother at the bottom of the, with all the minerals and the potassium and the vitamins and everything in the bottom. But uh, I'm not seeing it there. All right. Last but not least, the white bean crunch mac and cheese. I don't know Cheetos. I guess they're just like Cheetos. One more shot of that before we dig in. 
Oh, yep, yeah, it's a Cheeto or a something. I don't know, I'm not real big into snack food, but this is healthy snack food, so I can live with that. Hmm. Not really catching anything flavor-wise. Supposed to be mac and cheese. Sodium's low, only 130 grams of sodium per uh, one ounce serving, which is good. Carbohydrates 14. I'm figuring about seven or eight of these are an ounce. So, yeah, I'm not catching any flavor. Definitely got the cheese dust on them, like a Cheetos. I guess it's supposed to taste like white bean mac and cheese. Not catching white bean. Not catching any. Maybe because the sodium's low in it, I don't know. Maybe with real cheese. Um, gives you that Cheetos fingers though. Sorry, not catching anything off that. I will have to say that the two of my favorites, of course, are the, the bars here, the wild boar and the chicken bar. They're pretty good. And then, of course, the uh, little angry kernel corn. I like this too. We put some stuff off as a mystery because we don't know what it is and what we're supposed to do with it. Or I can't eat it because I'm down here and I need to apply it into a recipe. But yeah, definitely be looking into what this uh, pure prana is. So if anybody knows what this is, please leave a comment below. Let me know. But I am still going to do my own research on it too. Uh, wow, what a great box. What a great day. Guru Energy Drink. I'll be trying this out. If my next show and I'm twitching and itching and digging in my ear and going like this, wow, you know, I'm probably on the energy bar. So, Alex, thanks a lot for this. This was cool. I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to go to Alex's channel, check her out, subscribe to it, like it, leave a comment, and tell her hi, tell her Chef John sent you. And uh, thanks a lot, Alex. Everybody go over there, check it out. And don't forget, like this show too, subscribe if you already haven't, leave a comment below, and share the love with everybody. Have a good day. Thanks a lot, Alex. We'll see you again. Bye-bye. And thanks for watching. It's Only Food.